Okay. All right. Uh, Ms. Bryant? Thank you, ma'am. If you'll come all the way up, watch your step. There's some wires. And have a seat in the witness chair. Thank you. You raise your right hand, ma'am. Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give will be the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. Okay. If you can pull the mic down and to you, it's digestible, and speak into it. Thank you. You may ask. Good morning. Will you state your name? For the Ra record, please? Rachel Bryant. And Rachel, did you grow up in Louisville? No. Okay. Um, where'd you grow up? Radcliffe, Kentucky. Okay. And do you live here now? Uh, yes. And why did you move to Louisville? College. And where do you go? University of Louisville. What year are you? Um, I'm a junior. And were you living here in Louisville and going to U of L June 26, 2010? Yes. Um, where did you live then? The Bellamy. And explain what, what the Bellamy is. Um, it's student housing apartments. And do you remember witnessing an assault that evening? Yes. Uh, where did it take place? In the Bellamy garage. You may. Would you look at these, please, these photos, and tell me if you recognize what they're depicting. It's the inside of the Bellamy garage. Do you want permission to publish? Uh, numbers what through what? One through eight. Any objection? No objection. Admitted? And uh, make sure that light doesn't shine. You know, they should come up on your screen there. Okay. I hope you is that on, Ms. Bryant? Is, is yes, it, on? it is. That's great. And what are we looking at here? That's the Bellamy garage. And what angle are we looking at? Um. When you come into the Bellamy, that would be the garage is on your right in front of you. So you have the basketball court and then the garage behind it. What's this right here? The inside of the garage. Uh, on the outside. I'm sorry. Can you tell the area? That's the basketball court that you're pointing at right now. Okay. And. What are we looking at here? That's the entrance to the garage if you're driving. And this right here, is that the entrance or the exit? That's the exit. And the one over here? No. That's the exit. The other one is the entrance. This is the entrance? Yes. And then the other one is the exit. And is this just the same from another angle? Yes. What are we looking at here? That's the inside of the garage when you're first coming in on the right. I'm sorry, I didn't show up. Let me show up a couple others. Like that. That's the entrance to the garage from the front. That's the elevator door. That's the door if you are walking to go outside other than the front entrance. No. Same entrance. Different angle. Mm -hmm. Different angle. Explain to the jury what you saw that evening. 
Um, when I came into the garage with my friend, we um, we actually went in the wrong way. So we, when we came in, we had passed them outside. Um, Justin, Austin, and Zach, and they had another guy with them. But when we had passed them, they were standing like right by the entrance where you walk out, like if you're not driving. And um, I'd seen them, and I was like. This doesn't look right to me because they were talking to a guy. He was white. And um, me and my friend parked. And when we got out the car and as we were walking up, I saw Justin hit the other guy with a beer bottle. And after that happened, the guy collapsed. And um, Austin and Zach and them were like, come on, Justin, let's go, let's go, get him, let's go, let's get in the car. And after they got in the car, a cop car had just happened to be coming into the garage. And I was screaming at the cop, call 911, call 911. And that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. You say that it was Justin Berry that you saw hit? Yes. Marcus with? Um, how are you able to determine it was Justin as opposed to anyone else he was, he was standing there with? I went to high school with him for four years. I know what he looks like. And was there anything identifiable about him that makes him easy to identify? His height, his dreads. And how long had he had dreads since you've known him? Uh. I don't. Rem I really, honestly, I don't remember. Do you recall him having dreads more of the time that you've known him than than not? Yes. Um. And you also mentioned he was with Austin. Do you know Austin just as well? Yes. From school. Yes. Um. Would you call this group of people you named friends or acquaintances? In high school, I would have called them friends. Mm -hmm. At the time, no. So you, you weren't hanging out with them or anything no. at that point? Um, and Zach Brooks, did you also know him from school? Yes. Um, do you remember what time of night it was? It was late because it was from coming back from the club. So it, it was late. I can't, now I don't remember exactly what time, but I know it was like in the morning. In the Bellamy, is that in Jefferson County, Kentucky? Is that in Jefferson County? Yes. Not a trick question. Um, now you mentioned you were with someone. Mm -hmm. uh, who was that? Michael Caldwell. Um, is that someone you're friends with? Yes. And had you seen any of the people that you named, Justin or Austin, at your apartment? before you came home that evening? I saw them outside previously, but not at my not at my apartment right. personally. At the building though. The yes. Complex. Uh, could you tell the jury a little bit about that when and where you saw them? Um, it was actually when I was leaving to go to the club. They were, it looked like they were going to a party, but there's parties at the Bellamy all the time. So but they it was a group of people, but I saw them earlier. And how close were you when you saw them the first time? Did you pass them or it's like passing them, like not far. Like, I, I mean, I know who they are, so. Okay. And do you, did you know them, Austin and Justin, well enough to tell them apart? Yes. How can you tell them apart? <clears throat> Austin is thicker than Justin. I mean, Justin's really small, and then Austin's big. So, I mean, it's big and little. It's not hard to tell them. You know what I, do you get what I'm saying? Like, okay. he's much taller. Austin is much taller than Justin in relation to Justin's height. He's much bigger than Austin in terms of weight, so it's not hard to tear them apart. Could you describe what Justin looked like that evening? As in clothes, attire? Just head to toe, clothes, fe features, anything you remember. I remember Justin, I don't remember his, his clothes or anything. I mean, that was two years ago. How about his features? Still had dreads. Same height, same weight. I mean, okay. I don't remember like little that's details. Fine. That's what you remember. Judge, may we approach? You may. <clears throat> Mr. McLeod, Mr. Stewart, 